Hello guys, welcome back to Card Magic 6. Today I have another video for you guys. Um So these are my top 10 decks for 2016. I know it's a little bit late, but the 2016 decks that I have uh they're probably the best decks um I own, but obviously for 2016 it's fine. For 2017 I'll make another one in probably November and watch for that one. That'll be for 2017, and then 2018 I'll have another video. So, updated videos all the time. So, here we go. My top 10. So, let's start off. Here we go. Number 10. I have the Bicycle Standards and Rider Back decks. These are the most original decks you can find in a store. The most easiest most cheapest, most greatest decks of all. You know, they're cheap, handle great, carry the fan awesomely. So as you can see here. Yep, so the deck is great itself. The standards and the rider backs, uh, not much of a difference, obviously. Rider backs, I feel, are much smoother than the standards, but I don't know. Anyway, so that's in number 10, the rider back and standards up here. Number 10. Number 9. Uh, number 9 is the Bicycle Pandemonium deck of playing cards. I got this actually for free, obviously. I got this at a birthday party anyway. So this deck was great when I first got it. I didn't like it much until I realized what it had. So I got the deck obviously in order, and still it is in order. As you can see that from the side, it is still in order. The deck hasn't changed. But look at that. When you fan the deck, it's amazing how cool it is when you fan. That's the best part. Spreads are amazing. You know, the deck, the back design is one illusion that you cannot miss. So, obviously, look at that. The deck is awesome. So, I would recommend this for a beginners, magicians, and a bunch of people who want to practice illusions and fans. That's a good deck. Next up is my favorite, I would normally say, number 8, the Bicycle Dragon Back decks. So, the gold, the blue, and the red. Uh, I only have the blue and the red, and that's it, but I would recommend you to buy the red, then the blue. The blue is no good much, but it still handles and is just like the red. Oh, if I show you, um, basically, look at the Joker, right? The Joker, if I can show you the... Joker is just a plain bluish, yellowish Joker, and then the all the red pips are mainly uh, blue. So that's one feature probably you don't want to buy this deck for. But otherwise, the back design is great. Handling on this deck is amazing, and yeah. So the red deck um, is basically the same thing, just they didn't change much, upset, make it darker, and also the f royalty cards are more darkerish. I don't know if you can see if they change the yellow to gold and the blue to turquoise-ish or teal I guess. Right. So I won't say much about this. The deck is normal, you know, handles well and it's great. And I think that's why it's in number eight is for its back design. In number seven is going to be the bicycle guardians decks. Now these decks really impressed me. When I first got them, you know, um, they didn't handle so well. It's like, you know, well, these are cheap plastic crap, you know, but not really. Now, I can see from the back design, it's just a plain old back design. Doesn't look much, but that Ace of Spades, that's a killer. Even watch Stephen, uh, Stephen Hammer's video. Uh, he made one on the Guardians and he said about, <laughs> this looks like something from The Walking Dead. But anyway, he might be correct. I haven't seen any of those. But yeah, so a lot of things going on with this Guardians deck. So as you can see, I may do a review on this actually. Probably a deck review on this deck because this is amazing. I did one for the Dragon Max back there. Right? So yeah, so the deck handles well. It's more of a cardistry deck. I've heard a lot of people say that. And I have to say it is more of a cardistry deck. Okay, I'm really bad at that. 
But yeah, it's good for card springs, cuts, and many other, I guess, cardistry moves. So, go on to the, um, what's it, number six. So, we have here number six. So, ten, nine, eight, seven. Number six is the bicycle ghost deck. Now, I know many people would say this would come in first, and not really for me. For me, I put this in 6 because I have a bunch of other decks which are great. But this one wasn't the best. I mean, the back design is okay. I mean, you don't get normally a back design with, a, like, white and blackish. So it's a good ghost design. But they didn't do much with the faces or much with the back design that I would prefer this in first. Comes with the double backer. That's easy. And then <clears throat> that is just... The only part I would go for the black ghosts in first at least, but obviously not the white ghosts and not the black. And they didn't do much. I guess the um, every card is black. The pip on all the red cards are red. And if you go through the deck, you can see these are all black and white cards. Till you get to the ace of spades, which is right here. It's a really cool. Looks like a spear. Anyway. Ace of Spades is normal like that. And that's it. Um, the Jokers have a reveal on it. If I could find those Jokers. But that's basically it. So that's why this is in number 6. Now number 5 was a deck that was given to me from England. And it is amazing. The Bicycle Reverse Back Green playing cards. Now all the Reverse Back series decks are all good. The greens, the reds, the blues, the blacks, the yellows, the purples, and these. These are all, they're all good. But I only have the green, and I would prefer that this deck is amazing because they reverse the colors. That's one thing I like, is that now they made the borders green, it looks so cool. Like, the whole deck looks green, like, a, I mean, if I fan it out, it looks amazing. Right, they also made the faces cool, so... I mean, you can see that, Nine of Diamonds, the green background, that's the best part. And the gold, I mean, all the black, they made white. So that's even a cooler design for fans also. So if you look at that. But yeah, that's the best part about the deck and the pips and stuff. That's why this is in number five. Going on to number four, I have the Bicycle Turquoise deck. Right back. Now this deck was given to me, um, I don't know, it was given to me from England again, with this. But this deck had something that that did not. And this deck, I think you've seen me use this in a video. Um, deck came with a bunch of cool gaff cards and stuff, and the box and everything was amazing. And I have to say, for the ba best back design ever, so here are the gaff cards, see the three of clubs and these are hearts. And that one. Then it comes with a blank with the marked uh, border. You can see that. But yeah, so that's basically it for the gaff cards. And then the deck handles so well, much better than these blue riders, obviously. The deck uh, probably costs like 20 bucks or something. Otherwise, the whole deck is just normal. It comes with only one Joker for some reason. Don't like that. And then the rest of the deck is normal. So it comes with cool gaff cards, cool back design, and good at handling. And that's why this deck would come in fourth place. So the box is not the best, I would say. I mean, it's kind of ripped. Probably do a deck review on this one and uh, the next deck I'm going to show you, actually. So here it is on the number three, right? Number three. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. This is four, so now number three is the Bicycle Orange deck. Okay, so the Bicycle Orange deck is much better than this because of their gaff cards. So this deck I prefer much better because of the handling on the deck and the gaff cards. So the gaff cards are much better than the other one because they come with this special card. 14 of diamonds. I may do a trick with that. You gotta watch that. And it comes with a blank card so that I can use for many tricks, obviously, you probably know. The blank fan. So here, I'll show you one. Right? So you probably know that. 
Anyway, then you have the ace of hearts with no piece in the middle, no heart in the middle. That's good for tricks, like when I take a you know, card and then I'll go ahead and snap it, like, here, I'll show you, like that. So I'll have like an ace of hearts, snap it, and the pip would disappear, it would, and that would be cool. That's why this uh, this card is, this deck is much better than I expected. So, then the rest of the deck is normal, back design, again, it's just orange. So if you can see the orangey part, it's less red, it's more orangey. Than you think but yeah so again uh the orange deck and the turquoise deck i'll do a review on that and they both cost a lot of money so gotta say for that and in number nine i have the bicycle gold deck okay so the gold deck is one of the decks that was from england again and it has some special thing i would have to say okay um, the deck is more flexible than a normal bicycle deck. It won't fan good, it spreads okay, but the shuffling, the handling, and the look of this deck, this deck is more for playing than, um, than Magic, but I have to give it for Magic because the, I mean, this quality, look at this. This thing will bend all the way and it'll be fine because it's like more of a plastic deck, you know, the Prestige bicycle decks, but... It's like, it's in gold, it's dipped in gold, it looks amazing. So, the, yeah, I guess the deck, I have to say, is pretty, pretty good for itself. And that's why it deserves to be in number two. But the box, it was good until the piece ripped off, so I had to borrow another flap from somewhere else to cover that. But otherwise, onto my first and final deck of cards. Holy kabobs, man. It is the Monarch Deck of Playing Cards. Many of you probably would think, what? Well, the Monarch Deck is one deck I would say is much better than the other ones. I know the medallions would be good and the, um, you know, the citizens and stuff. But I would prefer the Monarchs much over, especially for that. Look at that back design. I mean, I have the red marks, but you can see. I'll show you. Look at the back design for that. It's amazing how they used a snake, a bunch of swords, leaves. That's the best part. And then they added thin borders. So when you added the thin borders, that just makes it even more awesome. So, look at that. The fans are amazing with the thin borders. The cards feel amazing. Also comes with the nice ace of spades. And this one also comes with a double backer. It feels amazing. It's much better than all the other decks, I gotta say. The deck's amazing. The box, I have to give up 100%. You can just have to look at that box. It's all 3D printed, as you can see. The sticker on it is also awesome. So I may do a deck review for the Monarchs, because I know I've heard a lot that this deck is amazing. So I'll do a deck review for that. But that's it, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and that was my top 10, and hope to see you in another video, bye.